This is the station where big stories leave and of course this is the only show where you get to seep and spill at the same time. To analyze with me is my very own Ife Omai. What's Gucci? Hmm. What's Prada? Hmm. Everything Louis. Balenciaga. Hey! <laughs> What's good man? How you doing? <laughs> Okay, we just called our friends. I hope they just <laughs> sent some money into our account. I know, you know right? what I mean? the need for big. Someone's here. How was your night? Yeah, it was okay. It was fine. It was All okay. Right. Mine wasn't bad either. I slept mm. quite early. But mm. yeah, it was I good. think same as well. So I got some rest. How about you? You I look did. rested. I did. I did. I slept early, woke up. You know, feeling yeah. feeling mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. And yes, um, it's about to be a great day, a great day to be talking about some people and be doing our army bow on this show <laughs> like we always do. <laughs> yes, so um, this one is on Kid Wire, who has shown shade in his words. He said, Happy New Month. And yes, big shout out to everyone. Happy New Month, of course. And um, remember, he wrote, Remember, the hate in your heart you have for other people will stay in your heart. So you can either find a way to bring a chair to the round table or continue to look through the window from the outside, hating. Who do you um, think he's talking to? Um, I, I don't know. I think this is um, a general mm. statement, if you ask me, because I don't know, I don't know anyone that he has, like, direct mm. beef with. Do you know anyone that is beefing mm. right now? Mm. Yeah, so I just feel like um, for someone like Kid Wire, of course, you'll be getting a lot of hate. Mm. You know, he has a beautiful girl by his side. Mm. He's wealthy. You see what happens with David O as well. You know, people mm. feel like it's their fault that they are rich and it's really not their fault. They Wahala. <laughs> for who rich you. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, so at the end of the day, I just think um, this is a general statement and a lot of people need to learn from that. You know, you see people and then you just come up with different stories of about their success story it's not of you to find out get close to these people what's up what's going on how can you teach me how to fish mm. as well and get rich you'll be there making up stories so i think this general what do you think i mean obviously coming off of uh big brother niger and him having such a massive platform and now mm. being a rich kid i don't think we've ever had that to be honest mm -hmm. we've never had a billionaire's mm, son. Uh, son being that up close and personal with us and watching him mm -hmm. every day for such a long time and then his parents are involved and his parents have also now become celebrities because blogs are picking up what they say and we don't we don't really have that type of thing so i can understand like you also mentioned that he's getting a lot of attention mm. and i can imagine that not everything is good He's not perfect as well, so I'm sure haters will find little things maybe to blow up a bush on to make it look bad. But mm. he's such a sweetheart, and that's mm. why I think I would, um, what's the word, wholeheartedly accept what he's saying. Mm. Because there's some people that will say this kind of comment, and I'll just be like, bro, I think you should take your own advice first. Mm. You get what I mean? But he's somebody that has really stood for love, and he's shown love. He's shown yeah. love it's from day real. one. Yes, as well. he's shown a lot of love. Even the way he handled, I mean, we're watching Big Brother Niger, when he handled Lake Con and everybody mm -hmm, else the in the triangle, house, to be yeah. honest. Um, he, he does actually um, emulate what he's talking about here, which I really respect. But mm -hmm. in terms of um, me being a listener, absorbing what he said, legit, obviously, like you also mentioned, it's something that we all need to work on. I mentioned it a lot of the times, so it's quite natural. And mm -hmm. it's human for you to almost sometimes want to respond to things that you don't have or you crave to have or you admire as like, ugh, it's not even feeling like self. But mm -hmm. there's levels to these things. I've seen people do that and then they go about their days and I've seen people sit down, really plot on how they're going to destroy Sorry. this mm -hmm. thing and they make it look bad. Like that's some, some extreme um, thing, but I like it. What's your advice. take on his relationship with Erica, especially after the house? I think he's doing what he said. I remember when he got, um, what's it called, evicted, he said he doesn't know, he can't say anything. And that was in the house. And that what he wants to do is spend time with her outside the house. Like, what are we like together? What are we like when there's no cameras? When there's no big brother, like what we like, do we get irritated at each other? Yeah. Do you, are you organized? Are you as clean as I can manage? You know, there's like a lot more that goes on with, you know, dating and all that. So I think that's what they're doing because none of them have come out to say, my girl, my, mm. you know, like mm -hmm. it's not a lot. Mm -hmm. It's not very like owning territory yeah. type vibe. They're really yeah. just being seen traveling together. Obviously, they're a thing. Yeah. But I think I'm with it. You saw the video um, over the weekend when they, they were in Sierra Leone. Oh my and gosh. Um, the girl housemate salon. You saw that, right? No, I didn't see that one. You didn't see that? They I... traveled to um, Sierra Leone yes, together. Yeah. They? And then there was this, um, there's another reality show going on in oh, yeah, Charlotte yeah, yeah, right I know that now. One. Yeah. Housemate salon. A big shout out to my girl, Madame. Oh, 
I knew Stainless. You she's a contestant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I'll go there. She's my she's my What's girl. Boss, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to her. And then they spoke to her. And Madam Stainless was actually the talk for like throughout the weekend. She even trended out here in Nigeria because mm. she was admiring Erica so much and she was say, Erica wanted to dispose something and she was like she was like, Where's your trash around here? She said, Bring it, Sam, your trash. <laughs> and, that, and that went viral yeah. like over the weekend. And then I see the way the chemistry between the, the both of them hasn't changed. You know, they laugh at almost the same joke. Like before she's even done talking, is you mm. can see him laughing. So I think they still have that connection. And I really, really, really admire that. I about thought you were them. going to mention the his her their entrance into Senegal. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, mm. I don't know if you saw that video. Yes, what was that? Was that? Man, you never know how big you are. I think now I'm going to say what Tiwa Savi said when she quoted the Bible passage that it is only in your own house. No, it's a lie, it's <laughs> I'm a just lie. joking. Hey, I'm just don't pull crowd here. No, what? they will pull crowd, but they come will on, man. Pull crowd. Because why has been here? We didn't see so much crowd in front no, of the office. No, that's not true. Because when he was coming here, he did not announce to the entire world that I'm going to be walking here at this time. That was very mm. different. Mm. I think Kid Wire and Erica. Erica, are you kidding? Erica, don't play. Like, that was crazy. Erica has, like, you put you put MCC, you put uh, what's her name, Tacha, you put Mercy, you mm. put Erica there. You don't put any woman, any other woman in that in this season there. You don't put Nengi there. You don't put Dorothy there. No offense, they're still big people, but there's a massive difference between mm. them. I think there's levels levels to this thing. She and was I like, definitely and I like the, the way they actually even showing support to all the um, reality shows. You know, yeah. we haven't seen that happen. Like I haven't seen. People that just got out of a reality show go to another reality show as visitors, you know, as guests. She mm. has to show you that they were, um, what's it called now, on demand in Sierra mm. Leone. That's why they got Kid Wire and Erica you, um, to come to Sierra of Leone. Course. And then I think it, it also helped the show a lot because mm. a lot of people are now talking about housemates yeah. alone. And big shout out to Madam Stainless one more time for making it worth the while. And, and I, I feel like when I watched that thing, it was one, I don't really get it a lot of the times, especially on social media. I said you knew them personally. We don't really get the realities or like the downsides of of celebrity life, except you know them. But that mm. video for me was like, yeah, no, I'm good, Don't because practice. she looked traumatized. Like she looked, there was even like tears going down her eye. Like she was so yeah. overwhelmed trying to go through that. So she much looked, love. She looked Anywhere very would be overwhelmed. She looked would very you? uncomfortable to a point. And I think the security did really badly. I don't think um, they know people how to handle. Close. Yeah, yeah. People I don't think they know how close, to handle yeah. um, that type of crowd. The, 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 the bodyguard is behind you, so then she, she, Erica had to go into the crowd first, and there's like people screaming like a, like a horror movie to her face. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a horror movie. No, I'm good. Well, big shout out to Erica, big shout out yeah. to Kid Wire, and yes, what Kid Wire said, um, I think is true. Find a way to get to the table and not watch from the window or watch from your TV screen. You can be a guest on the show. Just holler at us. And yeah, moving on. So side chick to self-acclaimed African giant and um, 2020 Grammy Award nominee, Bonner Boy, has called him out, revealing they have been together for over two years. The side chick identified as Joe Pearl revealed how being Bonner Boy's side woman has affected her mental health. <laughs> adding that she can't do it anymore. For the past two years, we have never stopped seeing each other. I've been seeing him and we don't talk about it because we just go about it and it doesn't exist people are aware of us if you looked closely you would always see me in the background somewhere where um. what's your take on this one <laughs> <sighs> where do i even some people are saying who from? is the side chick now is it Stefflon or is it this girl is it joe pearl <laughs> that's a big question i think it's kind of weird when you use side chick with people who are not married mm. first of all i feel like i find it a bit weird if she, he has not wifed anybody he said they were, he told that i would marry and they he would also have told twins. Sefondon that you marry her. i mean he even told her in front of them <laughs> <laughs> and they would have twins as he told Sefondon i don't know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> man uh, it's hard it's hard i don't know how to respond to this because if I respond to it based on my personal opinion, it will not really make my standards are pretty. No, 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 no. I want, you, I want the, to hear the, your The reason personal. I'm saying that is because my standards are pretty high, but I'm not. You're not going to find me dating a um, celebrity anyway. But I feel like people who do know that they the chances. They know what they're yeah. getting into. So I don't know how to like speak about this case. If you're going to go into the realities of dating a celebrity or dating someone who's really out there. And then you now add money, you add fame, you add wealth, you add locks and all of that. Mm -hmm. It is um, it is basically impossible not to know that there is 
a very high chance that your reality is going to is going to include infidelity mm -hmm. one um <laughs> Two is okay. She has come out to say what she said. Mm. I really like uh, Stephen Dunn's response where she said, "Where she said, um, what in the Nollywood is this?" <laughs> <laughs> because I would say the same thing too. Is she lying? I don't think so. I, it's very possible. It's, I'm not really. Surprised. But if it was Stephen, then then well, how would you feel right now? That's what I'm saying. Like I know I'm not. Honestly speaking, if I go and date somebody who's in the celebrity world, I'm no, not going to expect... No, but she's also a celebrity, so she would expect that it would want to Look at the history that, of history. That. They all do that. All is, and it's always not the women. The women still know how to stay faithful, even with... Um, I know how to cover it up uh, better. Either of those two. Mm. Either they are very good at hiding their... Uh, re, no no man wants to come out to say I'm your side man. I, I, so, I, exactly. You, you get I, me. No, mm, I would Trust disagree. No. I think I think a lot of men will not mind me to ask. Oh, so you think it's just you think or, you think um Steph London is just what, well, this is a wild assumption. Do you mm. think Steph London is faithful to Bonaboy? I think 100%. she I think she respects Bonaboy a lot more than she, he the, the vice versa. And I think that's why I see with a lot of relationships with celebrities, you can see that with nice. I'm not saying that nice girl wife. We're going, we're going to get there, we're going to get there, but I don't think wife nice girlfriend wife is like the most innocent person. But I've noticed with the trail of events from when I could start saying A B C and D is that Mel. men in the in the fame mm. um, union have a lot less respect for their relationship than the women. It, whatever it is, if the woman is faithful or not, she has a lot enough respect that it doesn't come out and it's so nasty and it's so but, out but, there. But what do you think about this girl now? She said he had to leave and go back to can come back to Nigeria to do a few things, and then she saw it on the internet that it was dating Steph London. Mm. And then he came back, and they started seeing each other again. And then he, she, and then it was yeah. official that it was with Steph Lund. And then you're coming out to do this. Do you think this is from a bitter place? No. Or do you think it's just a girl who's just broken, who's in love with a man that feels like he made a mistake and he's trying to, to make To be amends. honest, I, what I really respect about this girl, which is why I don't really have much to say, because I feel like they all are, except from Steph London, they all knew what they were doing. Mm. Like, she kind of called out her weaknesses or her faults in it and now she's telling you that she cannot do it anymore it's up to you to take it how you want to take it um, my opinion like i remember when she mentioned that you know she was doing that for a while but then you know she started noticing that she's giving up on no she's not allowing other people to enter mm. her space because she's being faithful so after a while you come to realize that oh more this person that i'm doing being all this thing is not matching no my plan. energy mm. So then I guess it takes her two years. Some people, it takes them one minute. Other people, it takes them 10 years. And we've all seen Dependent, that human beings yeah. work differently. So who am I to say anything about that? But um, she decided to, this is her time to now say, I think I'm done. But why Why on social media, though? That's, uh, that's another That's question. another thing. Yeah, um, like you can move on without letting us know about now. This is like, okay, so since I can't have you, I'm going to break what you have. And then the whole world is going to know about this. Yeah, because basically. I don't think, because now she's ready to let it go. Because I don't think after this, unless it's she really knows, yeah. in love with her, yeah. it would never go back to I guess chair. my sister's thinking, if you've already rubbished me and you've broken my heart, the least I can do is get clout from this. I don't know. I don't know. Huh. To each huh. man his own, innit? Okay. You think that's a problem? I think that's good for thoughts. I mean, if you're going, I'm um, almost. It's like you <laughs> you already you already to... set up such a, such a disaster mm -hmm. that asking one person to be the bigger person is wild to me. Like for you to say that the girl does not have a right, I'm not saying you now, mm. hypothetically speaking, um, collectively, like collective you. If for you to say that the girl doesn't have a right to even no, not that she doesn't have a right, that it, it was wrong for her to put it on social media. I also say it was wrong for the Bernard boy to even do what he was doing. It's wrong for Stephen not to also involve her. like the whole thing is wrong. So everybody in that triangle and that entanglement are all moving mad. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> and they're all allowed I just to do feel that. feel like um, since she's still in communication with Bonner Boy, she should have just reached out to him, you know, break it she off. She clearly and, has reached out yeah, to him. Yeah, and then break it off privately and then let it go. Move on with yourself. I don't think sometimes you... It's not about being a bigger person. It's just sometimes you don't need or necessary. This is a reset. It's going to be there. The moment she's going to be attributed to this now. If she shows off her boyfriend, a new boyfriend, and on social media, people will say the blogs will carry Bonner Boy's ex side chick now in a relationship. Mm. Bonner Boy, Bonner Boy is always going to be. Do you, know, do you in not the think that maybe that's what she life. wanted? At least to be able to get something out of it. 
Okay, especially now that he's about to win the Grammys. Maybe. Do you understand? Like, uh, <laughs> you cannot tell me that this girl True. was not even sitting there for the two years being a side chick because it was Burner Boy. I'm pretty mm. sure that she wouldn't do that for every Tom, Dick, and Harry, some hood rats in her mm. in her neighborhood and all of that. So you 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 already know that. That's why. I don't know the industry life and dating celebrities it takes a certain type of mindset like a lot of these girls that would be willing to do that it's not all willing to do that always want the clout anyway so you cannot expect that all of a sudden she will not act different and not gain anything out of the relationship i can totally see how her mindset works do i agree with it obviously not okay well food for thought Whatever it is, just just trying to gain. If you think you know the answer, you know you can just send your message we... to zero nine zero six thousand five seven one nine. But I didn't we... hear anything about you and Burner Boy. Like, I mean, he's cheating on Steph Don here. Do you have anything to say about that? <sighs> well, Sir. Hmm. I really don't know. So I don't know. Men are very complicated. I think our, our mind works differently. Like the things that attract us to other women are totally different. Now, Steph London is a. Yeah, we can a, see it. Yeah. We can see what attracts you people. <laughs> because Steph London too. And that's also, what I'm saying. There's a, there's a, there's yeah. a pattern here. We can see yeah, what attracts you. We can always we can see the pattern, mm -hmm. of course. But at the end of the day, I think. Um, Another thing he was looking, this girl seems like she's a lot calmer, yeah. you know, she's a lot homely. Mm. She said, um, our fr um, Bonner Boy's friends do not even want him around her because they know how he gets when he's there. He just wants to chill at home. He doesn't want to do nothing. He's just, so she's like, like that homely girl that will probably mm. cook for you, that will, you know, uh, run so your back water. Why don't she not be with her? But you want Ewedu and Okoro and Banana at the same time. No, it's more like you want to eat Ewedu and Okoro and then still be able to eat burger. Hmm. Hmm. Is that, so is that how men are? It's not how men are. It's how some men are programmed. And like you said, the type of life they leave mm. as well. They not travel definitely. a lot. Stefflon travels a lot. She's not always around him. So, you get yeah, that's another thing. Distance sometimes could be a factor to why men cheat or why women cheat when you don't get to see your partner. It's still and, wrong. Go and, wrong. Yeah, it's wrong. But but you know be firewood. Mm. Yeah. Be At the end though. of the day, but you know be firewood. And like you said, the pat's hand <laughs> come on. That's pat. Okay. We'll be going on a quick break. <laughs> Stay with us. <laughs>